Good afternoon. My name is Alan Ko. Today's talk is on uterine fibroids, which is a, which are tumors, and also how energy medicine supports our body's metabolic processes to improve this medical condition. A uterine fibroid, as I mentioned, is a benign tumor until it turns cancerous. Of course, then it's malignant, and it originates mainly from the smooth muscle layer of the uterus. So these the muscles where the contraction pushes out the baby or the menses uh, debris and fibroids form in the muscles relatively easily compared to other parts of the body and it's the most common benign tumor in females and typically found during the middle or the later re reproductive years not straight after puberty Uterine fibroids are often multiple when found and the malignant version if it ever turns cancerous is very uncommon and if it's cancerous it's called leiomyosarcoma instead of just leiomyoma now this is a picture of a fibroid so fully grown inside the uterus occupying the entire uterine lumen you would not expect uh, any fertility to happen this uh, particular lady would be very hard to conceive a baby because it has been occupied by the tumor rather than by a, a, a fetus or a baby so operation they can take it away and then close back the, the womb and after treatment of an intramural in, on the wall mural means wall um, of the uterus by laparoscopic surgery now what are the signs and symptoms of um, uterine fibroid usually heavy menses and painful during menstruation time uh, even sexual intercourse can be quite painful uh, or urinary frequency and urgency being increased sometimes quite dramatically uh, for ladies who have uh, fibroids in the uterus about 20 to 40 percent of all women will be diagnosed with leiomyoma this uh, benign um, fibroid and the condition is about twice as common in black women compared to white women what are the other symptoms apart from heavy menses, heavy bleeding or painful uh, menses? It will be abdominal discomfort and bloatedness, painful passing motion, back aches, urinary frequency or even retention of the urine unable to come out, infertility as I mentioned it occupies the entire lumen, it's impossible for the baby to form there. Um, sexual intercourse pain, miscarriages, premature labor, all this can happen with people who got fibroids in their uterus. How can electroenergy treatment work? By charging all the womb cells from a weak electrical activity to a much stronger, healthier electrical activity of 70 to 90 millivolts. At this healthy range that will be enhanced absorption of oxygen and nutrients into the uterine cells and more harmful chemicals acidic waste being flushed out making those cells particularly healthy and therefore can restore some order in terms of the shrinkage when it's more healthy oxygen is a fuel necessary to power all metabolic reactions including the repair and recovery processes and nutrients are building blocks to form enzymes hormones substances that can avert such medical conditions uh, with better repair and recovery Manifield treatment improves blood circulation to the womb and therefore bring along with the blood more oxygen and nutrients to the area therefore enhancing further um, uterine and ovarian metabolisms and because of the improved blood flow by Manifield energy treatment toxins are better drained away now from the area out of the womb area out of the body so they cannot re-enter the womb cells to disturb metabolisms of the womb so um, the pains will be less and the medical condition will improve. Good magnetic also directly help to relieve menses pain, coital pain or pain during sexual intercourse, abdominal pains caused by the increasing pressure of the enlarging uh, fibroids. Magnetic also boosts immune cell functions, killing germs that infect the area destroying newly established cancer cells so it will not turn from leiomyoma to leiomyosarcoma that means from benign to malignant in fact magnetic field also 
in a pulsating manner, keep on pulsing into the uh, womb cells. And the womb cells frequency or bar resonance is weak. You'll find the magnetic field can revitalize those frequencies and make the womb cells work even better. Far infrared, on the other hand, is to reduce inflammation of the womb and its action is for reduction of the swelling in that area and therefore ease the pressure from the swelling and therefore the pain associated with the swelling. Thermoxibustion is two treatments in one, thermal heat and also the moxibustion stimulation of the nerve endings and this treatment serves to dilate the blood vessels in the womb area when you sit on top of the machine, creating a better rush of oxygen and nutrients to the womb area to support accelerating of repair and recovery of the fibroid condition. And uh, toxins also are more dramatically drained away because once you improve local blood flow, the blood flow will send away those uh, harmful chemicals so that they cannot re-enter the womb cells to cause disturbance. And of clearance of blood clots in the area can also um, uh, improve better the blood circulation to the area. And qi flow can also improve from the moxibustion type, uh, part of thermoxibustion by stimulating the local meridian acupuncture points. Qi is also an additional support to energize our womb cells to help accelerate our body's self-healing metabolic processes. If you add all the four treatments together, there's no option but for the fibroids to keep on shrinking and improving and therefore all the signs and symptoms of uh, fibroids will be reduced by using such combination energy medical treatment. Thank you very much.